Welcome to West Kentucky Community and Technical Colleges Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brett McCarthy, and I want to bake with you. Okay, welcome to West Kentucky Community and Technical Colleges Cooking at the College, and we're going to be baking today. We're going to be making uh, soft pretzels as well as bagels and we're going to be using the same dough because essentially it is the same dough it's just a difference in preparation and uh, so I'm going to get started right away and and we're going to start off we're going to start off with a very high protein flour the one that I like to use is this is a Sir Lancelot flour it's made by King Arthur you can actually get it online at kingarthur.com and I'm not necessarily plugging uh, King Arthur for this, but it uh, it is a good it is a good product. It has about 14 and a half percent protein, whereas all-purpose flour has about 11 percent protein. And this is what's going to give those bagels and those pretzels a very chewy texture on the inside. So it really makes a big difference. So we're going to start off with four cups of flour. I'm just going to put that right in like that. The recipe for the bagels, at least, is on the back of the. Uh, bag here so it really makes it easy but I will put that online for you so you can see that okay so we have four cups of flour and we're using uh, instant yeast so it's a tablespoon of instant yeast or three teaspoons three teaspoons to a tablespoon so one two three the nice thing I like about instant yeast is I use it quite often is that um, you can mix it in right with the flour. You don't have to uh, bloom it, as they say, put it in the water and get it started with the sugar and the water. You can just put it right in with the flour and it works really well. The only thing about this is that the yeast will kind of peter out uh, after a couple of risings. So it's not really good for making like a sponge for sourdough or something like that. So you want to be careful with using uh, something like an instant yeast. This is really good for uh, getting that first rise, shaping it, getting that second rise and then just putting it into the oven. That's, uh, that's all you're going to get out of it. Um, okay, so now we're going to add a couple teaspoons of salt to it. One and two. And we're going to mix that up just like that. And then we're going to add about one and a half to two cups of warm water. And what we've added is we've added some barley malts. What makes what gives bagels that really nice color is that we boil it in a barley malt solution of hot water. And uh, it's just like you, if in the absence of getting this, you can use uh, brown sugar. Uh, so that works out very, very well. Um, so, but it also calls for a little bit of that barley malt inside the actual water solution that you're going to add to your dough. So you have it both in the dough as well as when you boil it and it just gives it a nice it gives it a nice genuine flavor very authentic kind of flavor okay so we're going to just put that right in there like I said it probably about a cup and a half and I have a little bit more just in case just go like that it's going to seem real dry at first but I actually like it a little bit dry because uh, when I go to put it on the bench, it all comes together for me. Okay, so I'm going to just put it right out like this, just like that. All right, give myself a little bit of room. And it's got a lot of moisture in it that you won't notice right away when you're mixing it together with a spoon. I think good bread has to be done worked with the hands. You know those bread machines just don't do it because they don't know, they can't feel when it's done right. And, and I had a bread machine one time and I just didn't like it because it just wasn't always making, making it the way I like to make it. And I think this is kind of a, making bread is something of, a, of an art. So I think when you try to make it too automated you uh, get away from really what makes bread so fascinating and such a staple of our society. 
All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of water. This is another way to just kind of make sure you get in there, get up all the, the stuff there. And you're just going to knead it for a couple minutes. You don't really need to over knead it too much. Just trying to get it to come together to a nice a nice mass. Okay, and I got a clean bowl right here. I'm gonna put that right on there and I'll just take a little bit of, I just happen to have a butter spray pan. And you're just gonna put that in a, a warm spot and cover it with plastic wrap. A lot of times if you have a, a gas oven with just the pilot going, that's enough, that's warm enough, or just a nice enclosed space is just warm enough. Sometimes I'll, if you have an electric oven, just turn that oven on and, uh, and then turn it off. And when it gets to around 125 to 150 degrees, that's perfect for it. And uh, just have it covered and wait till it doubles in size. And that's all there is to it. Uh, when we get back, we're going to have Chef Tony come and he's going to show you how to do pretzels. And uh, we'll see you back in a minute. I like West Kentucky. It's a non-traditional college. Older people, young people, they all can come to college and it's no worries because there are very many resources that we provide for financial aid and other assistance to help people afford college and there's no excuse. And welcome back to Cooking at the College. Uh, right now I'm going to be rolling out this pretzel dough, twist a couple up, and uh, what you do, you make sure you're Board's floured always when you're working with dough just so it doesn't stick. Makes it a lot easier on you. And what we're going to be doing is rolling it out into strips. So I'm going to kind of keep it, try to keep it in a rectangle as best I can so I can get them into uniform strips. So try to go in just a couple ways. Don't get all crazy with your rolling pin or else your glutens are going to get confused and then your bread's going to come out all messed up. So roll it into a long rectangle. And we're going to take a pizza cutter. I'm going to even it up here. And we are going to cut into strips. And since these are just handmade pretzels, it doesn't matter really how big or how small your strips are, it's just personal preference. You gotta remember if you make them smaller, they're gonna be a little bit crispier if they come out of the oven. Make them bigger, they're gonna be softer and doughier. Oh, pretzels are actually kinda neat. They've been around forever. There's a, there's a couple stories. They have been, a, this is documented, that they have been used since at least the year 1111 as a uh, an emblem for German bakers and uh, before that it was said that there was an Italian monk who treated school kids for remembering their Bible verses with pretzels and it was called a brezel or a preziola and there's one of them right there like I said they're handmade they don't have to be perfect but what it's what makes them kind of neat and kind of kind of unique. So, kind of make it into a rope, twist it a little, and you can watch them do this any day at the mall. What they do, they kind of give it a little twist like that and lay it down. I'm not very good at it, but but some people are, and I'm sure if you do it for long enough, you can you can kind of learn how to do it. And there are there are tons of methods for doing these. Um, there's also many different shapes and sizes of pretzels, obviously. There's, there's the little ones in the snack mixes and stuff. Those are pretty much the same deal. Uh, they're just thinner, so they're crispier. But I myself like the, uh, there we go. I myself like the thicker, breadier pretzels. And you got to make sure you're pressing them down on the sides right there, or else what we're going to do, we're going to, 
parboil them for a second before we throw them in the oven just to get a nice crust on them. But if you don't seal them right, they're going to come apart in the water. So, yeah, actually uh, a little side note about pretzels. And George Bush actually choked on a pretzel, fell off his couch, and acquired a, a minor bruise, making them temporarily famous. But the, uh, the pretzel industry in America is a uh, $550 million a year industry. Another little side note about pretzels. Um, and they're really easy to make. I mean, it doesn't take much time and effort. You just kind of twist them and stick them. Just got a couple left here. And uh, I think I'm going to finish this up. And when we come back, we're going to boil them. One of the best things about this college was being on stage. And once I did a few shows and met some people and learned how to memorize things, it really helped me outside of being on stage. Welcome back to Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brett McCarthy. And uh, first want to congratulate Tony. He just received an award uh, for uh, attending a special event that we did over in Frankfurt. Did an excellent job, so we want to congratulate Tony. Tony's going to be leaving as a TA. It's a one semester appointment and uh, we have a new a TA coming in and his name is Brian Vaughn and uh, he's going to be doing an excellent job. He works over as one of the head supervisors, uh, line cook supervisors at the Pasta House. Uh, Tony's going to be working uh, downtown um, uh, at, uh, what's the name of the uh, place? Max's, Max's, Max's downtown and uh, be doing that and so we wish him the best of luck uh, as he goes into uh, his career. So we're going to take this same dough. We have another uh, bit of dough here and we're going to make uh, bagels. So we're going to get started with that. And uh, this one we don't have to roll out like what Tony did. What we have to do is get um, little four ounce balls, four ounce pieces. One, two, three, four, five, probably won't get. And uh, we'll just put them on the scale. Yeah, that's about 4.2, so I want to get four ounce pieces here. And it is important that we get uh, the right weight for these so that they cook evenly. So it's good to get a scale if you're going to be doing bagels. It's not quite like a, a pretzel where you have a little bit more wiggle room. You're going to get for one batch, one recipe, you're going to get about eight bagels. So I'm going to just take this, and there's a couple different ways to make a bagel. You can press it out and just pop a hole in it, and you're done. What I like to do to make something a little bit more uniform and, and purdy, so I go like this, and I just bring it around like that, and then I just roll it, and it kind of brings it together, and that's all there is to it. You're looking at about a, oh, I guess a six inch snake or so. Okay. 
You don't want any real thin pieces. When you make your snake, you want to make it nice and uniform and even. Now we're going to be boiling both of these uh, products. But I've seen uh, where, uh, for some pretzels, for example, they just egg wash them and put them in the oven, or they dip them in some water and they put them right in the oven. So uh, we're going to be doing it according to how Chef Tony indicated. Doing it, there's a couple different ways to do it. But bagels are always either steamed or boiled before proceeding with the baking part. I'm sure the recipe is slightly different, but we're going to go with the same recipe to make everything easy. Okay, so we have everything right there, and could I try to squeeze the ends together because they kind of overcook if I don't, and that's it. We got that together. Maybe I'll make up one more here. That's it, okay? So when we come back, we're gonna head over to the stove and we're gonna cook off the pretzels and the bagels and then into the oven they will go. See you back. They came up and asked us if anybody had anything great to say about this college. Well, I said I did because I had been to two other colleges in this area and I think West Kentucky is by far the greatest because it's got smaller classrooms, everyone knows everybody and the teachers are very helpful. Welcome back to Cooking at the College, and we're doing bagels and pretzels. Uh, we've got them all shaped now. We're going to actually boil them off and then bake them. And Chef Tony's going to uh, take care of the pretzels, and I'm going to take care of the bagels. The pretzels are boiled in a solution of bicarbonate, which is just baking soda and water. And he's just going to briefly put them in there, plunge them for about 30 seconds, and then they're going to go right onto a sheet pan that we have over here. So he's going to put them right in there. Just very briefly, because they will, they will actually cook in the liquid. And what we're doing is just kind of getting the outside wet, and that'll put a little crust on them, and it'll kind of steam them during baking. So and We don't want to boil the water, nice. right, Chef? No, not no, boiling, okay. just simmering. Just simmering. So right at, right at boiling, just enough to get them. Just a low, slow simmer. Mm -hmm. We got these nice uh, bamboo uh, strainers, which work really nice. You can get these over at Acro or any kind of cooking shop right there and I'll just put this right over I'll be the assistant today I think that's just perfect so they should be relatively firm when they come out okay. relatively 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 Re raining relatively cold relatively warm all right Theory of relativity. Now, relative to what? I'm not sure. Not sure. But just a very. As long as you're not my relative. Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> Sick burn. <laughs> So you're just going to come right over here. Are they pretzels yet, Chef? Not yet. Oh, so close. So close. We're going to use a little kosher salt by Cisco. We want to, it's not, you know, we had Cisco everywhere, so we might as well just really put it out there. It's Cisco brand <laughs> because we're not going to be able to hide it otherwise. So, so we'll just put this out here. We're getting a little silly. I'm sorry. This is very serious business. It is. So serious, they do this during Lenten, don't they? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, there was a, uh, a reference to pretzels 
where they were talking about the uh, the rotation of the planets around the Earth back in the uh, the the early like back in medieval times, and they actually referred to the rotation of the planets instead of a circular pattern as uh, they described it as Lenten bread, and that would be the pretzel that they're talking about. Well, there about. you go. Well, there you go. That's really neat. So we're going to put this in here, and uh, this is about a 400 oven, and they should puff up and be really nice and, and purty. And uh, we're going to go right on and do the bagels now. And this has a little bit of that malt in here, and you can use brown sugar if you don't have the malt. You just put them right in like that. Also, the purpose of the malt inside the actual dough, it gives the yeast something to eat. That's right. Because they feed off of sugar, and barley malt is actually, it's got a lot of sugar it's, in it. Yeah, it's, it's actually. It's mostly carbohydrates. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to put that right up like that, and just bring it up. And it's about two minutes on one side, and, and about a minute on the other side. out just perfect. So we're just watching again we want to make sure it doesn't get to a real hearty boil just a simmer. You can see they're kind of puffing up. I like that nice round backdrop there. It just really makes them stand out. Perfect for a camera. Right. By the way, the pretzels are going to take about 10 minutes, not all that long. So. It's about two minutes. So we're going to boil these off. It's two minutes on one side, then we're going to flip them and it'll be a, a minute and when you go to flip them and I'll just show you how to flip them real quick get the cameraman to come over for just a second we just flip them right over it's just like that very easy just like that so we're gonna flip each one of them after they've been two minutes on one side one minute on the other and then we're gonna take them out and uh, we'll see you back in just a minute um, if you're ever in Dr. Pruitt's class and you don't know what to guess guess B he seems to like that better than C if you're in Dr. Garrett's class, read the book. If you're in Dr. Werkler's class, don't be afraid to laugh at his jokes. Okay, welcome back to Cooking at the College. I'm your host, Chef Brent McCarthy, and we have our bagels that we've just taken out of the water. And uh, actually, they've been out of the water for just a few minutes, so I'm going to have to re-wet them just a little bit. And they're very purty. Okay, I'm just going to re-wet them just a little bit. This will help have the poppy seeds and sesame seeds stick. You can do different kinds of toppings. The dried onions work really nice if you want an onion bagel. And uh, you can mix in different things into the dough. You could do a blueberry bagel or a chocolate chip bagel. You can do all kinds of things. Uh, you really have a lot of leeway, so we're just going to take some sesame seeds. Just like that. Um. A little bit of poppy seeds there. And into the oven they go, 400 degree oven. All set on that. And uh, we'll see you back in just a moment. We're going to pull them out and we're going to try them all out. All right, see ya. Last semester uh, I had Amelia Martins for English 1, writing 1. And uh, she truly inspired me the entire semester. She made me work hard and made me question anything I wrote and made sure I, I had an answer for anything I wrote. 
She didn't leave, let me have open thoughts on those and just leave them away and let people wonder what I was trying to say. She made me really clarify everything. Uh, and she still to this day backs me. I can go to her for any subject. I admire her for her intelligence and I admire her for her time that she puts in here. Okay, welcome back to Cooking at the College. Uh, we're wrapping up. We have our our uh, pretzels that just came out and you'll notice that they're a little bit different than these pretzels here. These ones we just brushed with a little bit of water and put them in the oven so they'll puff up a little bit more. If you like a more firmer kind of crispier pretzel then this is the one that was boiled. So if you just want it to come out uh, just really nice and puffy and be a much more softer pretzel like what you would get at the mall, you just briefly uh, steam them or, or just brush them with some water or egg wash and they'll come out a little bit uh, bigger and uh, a little bit uh, more puffy, so they'll actually puff up in the oven a little bit more. So that's uh, that's one way to do it. Uh, we also have our we have our bagels here, and this one uh, we put some rosemary on and some thyme on, as well as some. Uh, we have ones with sesame seed and poppy seed. And uh, the one thing that I do want to talk about is the different types of flour. If you can't find or you don't want to order the Sir Lancelot flour, you can use. Um, you can use a, uh, a bread flour, and the bread flour has a greater amount of protein, and, and usually you look for the flour that says great for bread machines, and then it has a little bit more protein in it, and most um, uh, grocery stores now sell a bread, either says bread flour on it or good for bread machines. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you is the amount of sugar that you're going to use, and if you don't have that malted syrup, you could use molasses, you could use brown sugar, but it's about two tablespoons. You really don't need all that much. There's uh, about a tablespoon actually in the dough, and then about two tablespoons for, oh, about a half a gallon to a gallon of water. That's just to give it that flavor, and it just helps to give it that nice brown look. We're going to take out these, uh, these bagels that we've just uh, put in here, and you can see how beautiful they are. They just came out just gorgeous. And, uh, and we're going to bring over Tammy, who is uh, keeping the time right now. And we're going to bring her over so that she can try some of these uh, beautiful. Uh, she's just been chomping at the bit, as they say, to uh, try the, the pretzels. OK, and what kind of? What kind of uh, bagel do you want? Do you want the sesame or the? Yes. That one? Okay. Of course you want the sesame because I just cut the uh, <laughs> the poppy seed. You see? She's good. She's the time lady, so she she's good at wasting time. I have one minute. I have one minute. See? <laughs> see how good that is? Okay. So we're just going to put a little bit of butter on there. All right. You want a little bit of sauce? The the lingonberry. Yeah. Just a little bit of lingonberry. Notice we're not using cream cheese. We actually are at the end of the semester, and I was looking around for some cream cheese, and we always have it on hand, and we must have used it all up. So we're going with just a little butter and some lingonberry. All right. All right. They are a little bit chewy. Tasty, huh? Very nice. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Bagels and pretzels. And uh, we'll see you back. This is our last show of the season. Uh, they'll be rotating the old shows through during June and July, and we'll see you back in August. So thank you for uh, supporting this uh, program and supporting your local community and college, and I want to cook with you. Use the same one. That's why it's getting canned right there. Yeah, that's why I'm getting canned. I can't follow directions. <laughs> That's what you get after two years of school. That's, That's yeah. it. Knowing when to like say okay. Six years. What do you mean two years? Like yeah, six years. Yeah, like three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> woo hoo! Woo hoo! Let's go on the <laughs> Tammy can open that for you if you want. <laughs> my, my hands are. Yeah. Not yeah. <laughs> my hands are slippery. He's got butter. Do but not film butter this. Butterfingers. Do not film this. <laughs>